Right, so it's been a long time since I've done a how-to video on composites building. So today I'm going to show you how to repair a broken fuselage boom. Um, this seems to be probably the most common failure uh, or break on um, model gliders, especially composite ones, um, from DLGs to F-series planes to slope soarers, especially the RCRCM series. Um, they seem to be quite eggshell and tend to break at a slight cartwheel on the side of a hill. So this is the model we have to repair. As you can see it's been repaired here once before. Um, now unfortunately it has been broken just in front of that repair. So we are going to now fix that. Now the hardest thing with this one is going to be the fact that we have some push rod sleeves in there which uh, glued the full length of the boom and I cannot remove those. Um, so I can't take the boom apart into two pieces to put some rods inside and use that as a splint to make sure everything's straight. So I'm going to do a different method which is a bit rough and ready but we do have options to keep an eye on how straight the fuselage ends up being. The best thing about this thing is we've got an all flying tail so if we get our incidents slightly wrong, on the, at least on the pitch axis, the trim can kind of take care of that. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is try my best to get things lined up and straight. And I'm actually just going to tack things back together with some thin CA, hopefully to bind some of the fibres back together. The problem with this is it's been stretched apart and we're not actually close to where we want to be. The old iometer. I'm just going to pour some thin C8 through these fibres. Don't worry if we get a lot of overspray on this because I will end up sanding a lot of this to get it straight. Kind of looking at that parting line, keeping that straight. And looking along that fuselage. Not looking too bad so far. So I've just broken that apart again because it wasn't quite lined up how I would have wanted it to be. I'll retake it back with CA again, roughly in the right place. That's looking much straighter now. Slightly up on the boom, but like I said, if you look along this, I haven't quite got my... So the boom kinks up slightly at that point, but I've got it straight on the yaw on down the straight line centre line and I've got it straight to the main wing no twist in it so it's going to be just like kink in this boom unfortunately um, but I can't do much better with my three attempts at taking it with CA right so hopefully the camera's in the right place next thing I'm going to do is get my sanding block I'm going to try and sand off a lot of that overspray with the CA and try and take a lot of those high spots off I'm just going to take this first layer of paint off and not try and get too much into the glass. I'm actually also flattening back this previous repair. Make it a little bit less ugly. So I'm just going to put that first layer of paint into the glass. I'm going to grab a wet rag and just take off some of that stuff I've sanded. Looks up a little bit of resin. I shall get some gloves on before I do this. Right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just smear a little bit of epoxy over my repair area, wetting the surface out. This just basically like primes the surface with some epoxy to make sure things stick. Yes, if I was doing a bit more nicer job I'd probably fill this hole here um, but I can't be bothered I was just doing a nice quick easy repair no one wants to spend ages building fixing their planes they want to get back up the hill or back out to the field as soon as possible so there we go prime that surface and we got some uni carbon first pieces of uni carbon 
So I use unicarbon for obviously for stiffness in the this way and for torsion I'll use some um, 45 bias stuff. So I'm just gonna try to pull more resin out over there because I can get my get my roll of wet. That's way too much resin that I that I want to need. What I'm gonna do get my hard roller out and just make sure I get off the excess resin. Right, now over the break, what we're going to do is we're going to lay our pieces of uni over the break. You can see, spread it out with the fingers, always go wrong with the fibres. One over the top of the break. Try and get that uni fibre a bit straighter. That one's falling apart. Now, because I've completely just, just screwed that piece up. So that's some uni spread out over the repair area. Now I've got a couple pieces of 45 bias. Like I just had a couple pieces of 45 bias tech stream sitting around doing nothing. That makes it all nice in the end. Middle of the break. Now that's all our fabric that we need to fix it with. The next step after we've laid all our fabric on there, you'll see it's a bit sticking up in places and not looking very tidy at the moment, so we can't let it cure just like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by spiral wrapping electrical tape over it and by spiral wrapping the electrical tape it slowly creates even pressure over the repair area squashing all the fabric down making sure it's bonding well to our boom in the repair area, squashing all the fabric down and also squeezing out any excess resin as you can see there between the layers of tape. I'm not putting too much pressure on, just enough to sort of distort the tape. If you put too much pressure on this tape you can actually crush through the repair area. So don't put too much pressure on. We're not trying to crush a watermelon like some of those videos. So I'm just trying to keep an even spiral wrap around the repair area. Oop. I'll go right over the old repair too. So you can see we're nice and straight, everything squashed down. Excess resin is being squished out from between the layers of tape. Now just wait for it to cure pretty much and then once it's cured just unpeel the tape and give it a light sand and a repaint